Welcome everyone to German Tour Reviews. Today we have the Viha 41102 150mm dial max composite dial calipers. Yes, plastic calipers really do exist and sometimes are the only option when measuring very delicate or surfaces that can get easily scratched. Using some Colombo-like research, I was able to determine that the calipers were made in Switzerland by a subsidiary of Viha, Kunststoffwerk Books AG. This is the same company that also manufactures the Viha composite folding rules. Apparently they've been making this type of caliper since 1965, which is a surprise since I don't think I've ever seen a pair in person before I got these. The model that I picked up from their Dialmax line is the 41102 150mm dial calipers. For the SAE 6 inch version, the part number is 41104. Viha does offer an ESD safe version of these calipers that will run you about $20 more. The part numbers for the ESD safe metric and SAE versions are 41105 and 41106 respectively. Normally you would see the jaws of a caliber made of a hardened stainless steel alloy. These particular calipers are plastic reinforced with 50% glass fiber. No information on which type of plastic was used, but I suspect that it would be either a nylon or polypropylene blend for durability and chemical resistance. There are several situations I can think of where you would want to use plastic calipers over metal ones, such as measuring scratch sensitive or painted surfaces, measuring soft materials, or measuring magnetic parts. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. First, let's look at the included documentation. The document details the four types of measurements you can make with these calipers, which are inside, outside, step, and depth. Next, there is a mention of a couple of exclusive features in these calipers. This includes an anti-backlash pinion and a V-guide system with opposing rigid and spring joints. At the bottom of the document, there is a typical calibration curve across the entire range of the unit. It doesn't look like this unit is serialized, so you wouldn't get a calibration curve for each unit. The unit claims to be within 0.1 millimeters across the entire 150 millimeter range. Finally, there are instructions on how to zero the unit, which is done by turning the cams on the dial cover. Now it's time to take a look at the actual calipers. One thing I will say is that I wish that this came with a sleeve or a case in order to protect it when you're not using it. It would be nice if Vihar were to just offer this as an accessory, but at the time of this review, it doesn't look like they have any options for a case, so you would have to make your own. The jaws of the caliper slide nicely along the main scale, which can also be done with the included thumb screw for fine adjustments. The printing on the dial face is very clear and you can easily read the position of the pointer with no issues. I am glad that they went with a black on white color scheme here, which makes it very easy to read in all lighting conditions. I have seen some dial calipers with a black on yellow or white on green color schemes that can be kind of tricky to read if you are moving from light to dark areas often. One of the first things you will notice is how light this unit actually is. The included documentation says that it comes in at 45 grams, which is around what I measured at 44 grams. Compare this to a typical stainless caliper, for which the 150mm digital version I have comes in at 154 grams, over three times as heavy. The way to read this caliper is to first look at the last increment of 10 that the two pointers on the main scale have passed, then add the value of the dial to this increment to get the reading. One revolution of the dial is 10 millimeters of linear distance. Taking a couple of quick measurements using this hex L key, we can see that the 10mm measurement is spot on. There are a couple of features missing in this product that you would normally see in dial calipers. These include the ability to lock the position of the zero and the position of the jaws. You would normally see a couple of thumb screws for this, but the reason for the omission may be due to the fact that this is entirely plastic and that a plastic thumb screw wouldn't cut it for these operations. It actually is kind of amazing that they were able to make a part with moving mechanics entirely out of plastic without a trace of metal. This probably wouldn't replace your regular metal calipers, but there are situations when you need to measure a delicate piece that these would be great for. The ESD versions would of course be good for measuring distances around sensitive electrical equipment. I decided just to get the regular version since I don't anticipate needing to do any measurements that would require ESD tools. Well that wraps up this review of the Viha 41102 dial calipers. Check out the link in the description to the full review. And if you like this video, subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.